Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joseph Fett and welcome to, well, kind of a should you pull kind of first impressions video for Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia because we've just had a information drop on the Twitter page for Square Enix showing a global exclusive Vincent LD for Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. So I'm gonna have a quick look through it. I obviously haven't seen it just yet, so it's gonna be kind of a reaction video slash should you pull kind of thing, and it's gonna be fast and loose so I can get this video up as soon as possible. So no would you pull section or anything. So if that's all stuff that you guys are interested in, then of course stay tuned and keep on watching. Of course, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't tell you to check all my social media links in the description box below, including Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and Patreon. I'll be streaming on Vincent's LD release because if it's a global exclusive, the chance or global first or whatever, it, the chances are I'm probably going to want to pull for it. So I'll be doing so first thing in the morning, uh, just like I do with every other event that comes out on Opera Omnia. So definitely come and find me on Twitch and with Patreon. I always shout out one of my patrons every time I release one of my videos. And today that person is going to be Teriuchi, who is brand new to my Patreon. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to check out all of the other content creators and all of the other resources that are for Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera as well. But I think that's enough of that, I think it's time to actually take a look at what we have to expect from this new global first. Okay, so first things first, I think the best thing that we can really do is have a look at the video that was dropped on Twitter just now from Square Enix, and that way we can kind of work out what we want to see, and this will be a first time for me watching it too, so I'll be reacting to it just as much as you will be, so let's have a quick look. Oh, the Turk costume. See, I wondered if they would get the Turk one. Four uses on the LD. Yeah. Double okay. HP dump, and then a follow-up attack. And I think that was six, five or six hits. Quite hard to tell when they come out that quick. <laughs> okay, so there's a frame sap that seems to come from his special effect. Doesn't give him free skills. Okay, so the follow-up looks... Oh no, hold on, the follow-up isn't splash damage. It was on the LD, but not then. Oh no, wait, that would have been... That would have been splash damage from the LD itself. So single target HP um, chase. Yeah, because it's showing the total damage, that's why. It's... I mean, that sap is pretty good. Costume's lovely. Okay. Well, I think that we can make some assumptions based on what we've seen there. Um, and there's been some stuff that's also been shown for uh, from the Twitter page itself, so... It, show, it says here, uh, Satan Slam Shot slash Chaos Saber Shot. Um, you'll get a framed buff from it, or a special effect from it, called Power of Chaos, which is max brave attack and overflow damage up. And it also has a, a sap effect on it as well that will deal damage to all enemies at the start of their turn. So the fact that it's a sap for all enemies separates it from the regular sap, like sap ability, so that's actually kind of strong. And then when Vincent attacks an enemy with two or more debuffs, he'll trigger up a follow-up Chaos Saber Shot, which I think was a six... I, I could be wrong here, because this is literally first impressions, but I look like a six-hit Brave HP attack that followed up everything that after what he does, so that's not bad. However, the fact that it didn't give him free skill uses doesn't fix the issue that Vincent always had, which was that he, he made his turns go so quickly that he'd run out of skills. And seeing that there's no kind of buff, it doesn't look like there's any buff to his um, HP plus either, except for the fact that there is a uh, like a follow-up attack. I mean, it looks like a really good follow-up attack. And the fact that it needs two or more debuffs on the enemy to trigger is nothing for Vincent, because he does that with practically everything he does. But now that we've seen that, let's have a quick look at the rest of his kit to see where this fits in with what he can do. So if you've not used Vincent before, we'll just have a quick look through his kit so we can see and try and work out where his LD fits into all this. His Deadly Beast Flare and Livewire shot both imperil uh, for different things, so fire and lightning, and also inflict 
a, a, a debuff along with it. So with Deadly Beast Flare, it's initial brave down, and with Liveware Shot, it's attack down. Now, the initial bravery down on Vincent's Deadly Beast Flare actually becomes really powerful. If you combine it with framed initial bravery debuffs, it actually becomes really strong. It, the issue that Vincent always had is that his damage was really poor, and because he was so fast after using all of his skills, he kind of came away with no skills left to use. And his, like, his EX was actually not terrible either. It's a brave HP attack with splash damage, but it inflicts a, a frame debuff called Nightmare, which lowers their defense and also saps them as well. So this will combine well with the LD buff that he's just gotten. And then he also gets an HP plus off of this as well, where it's just a group brave a bravery attack with an HP attack added onto it. But that follow-up will make a big difference for him. And the fact that it looked like he was getting... I mean, he looks like he gets this for what 12 turns worth that's a long time with four uses of that skill that's a long time to have that power of chaos buff so there's a lot that could be done with that if you kind of consider it as the hp plus becomes a seven hit brave hp attack with two hp dumps on it that suddenly sounds a lot lot better um but and then he gets like a uh, fire enchant thunder enchant and max brave up at the start of the fight so that it, he can gain more damage out of his skills but realistically it looks like Vincent's become really something of a damage dealer. Like, it's it, it's a very strange transition for him. Much in the same way as it was quite strange for Balthea to transition into, like, a support role. And by the looks of things, judging by the fact that uh, Vincent's L, like, this, the actual skill itself, doesn't look like it has a uh, golden text on it or anything. So I think that means that there won't be any LD boards or rework or anything on it. So honestly, if you didn't like the fact that Balthea didn't get LD boards or a rework, you're probably not gonna like this either. And I, but that being said, like a lot of people said that they weren't gonna like Balthea and people read me for, to Phil for saying that, like, that I thought he was really good. And then loads of people changed their minds very quickly soon after he was released. And I think that Vincent is possibly a bit less sort of helpful because he's a damage dealer now. And But like, it seems like he does quite a lot of damage. Like having multiple HP dumps in his LD attack with the follow-up added onto the end of it. The fact that you get the follow-up within the LD as well means it's a triple HP dump attack and he gets, it's, it's a very strong buff, but he doesn't have an awful lot um, like of party interaction or anything, like he does, where Balthea does, like the Azuna and the Dispel it comes into play. But that initial bravery down that, and the attack down that comes with uh, with Vincent already is actually very potent if you put it in the right places. So if you compare, if you pair him up with somebody like Fran or Pinello or like um, Charlotta, anyone that has like initial bravery shenanigans, you can do a lot with that. And then having the attack down and then the fact that his attack goes up quite a lot, like if you have his LD as well, and the fact that he's got four uses of it and that his EX like it can then come back and be useful again. It means that he becomes like a debuff, a damage dealer. None of these debuffs are like incredible unless you combo them correctly, but there is a lot of potential there to be had. So I think that if you pair him up with the right characters, the fact that he gets an additional six hit brave HP attack, that's a big follow up attack to follow up on thing on anything that he does. So while his initial kit isn't that fantastic, if Balthier taught us anything, and I'm sure there are people out there that will disagree with me on this, but you don't necessarily have to have LD boards and a rework or anything to be useful. Uh, I think that Vincent, while slightly less mandatory as a pull because he's literally a bonus character, he's nice to have, I expect that there's going to be a lot you can do with that because the fact that you can combine it with things that you could have done before, but now he has the damage to back it up, I think that there's a lot of interesting things to have with Vincent. Now obviously we don't know an awful lot about what's going to come with Vincent and we don't have an awful lot of time to prepare but Vincent's LD will come along by the looks of things with Prompto and Deuce which is a really interesting combination of characters to come with. I actually don't have Prompto's EX at all so it might be quite nice to pick that up. But I think in terms of characters that he'll go well with, like I said, any other character that has a like an initial Brave Down debuff that's framed that will combo well with his own one will work wonders. Like there was times where people used Vincent when he first came out with his EX alongside Charlotta to make it so they had zero initial bravery and you could break the enemy every turn and it was a way to cheese things. So that is something that's worth 
looking at at the very least uh, like uh, in terms of combinations of characters ironically the fact that he has a Turk costume is really nice because I think it actually worked really well with Rude, <laughs> Reno and Rude because he has Thunder in Chart and in Peril as well as Reno does now Rude doesn't benefit from that sadly but the fact that he has that as well as Reno and you've got kind of got all of your bases covered if you wanted to have like a flavored Turk team you could totally do it. Like, Re like Rude has you covered in terms of defenses and healing, it's battery, etc. Vincent has you covered in terms of the amount of like debuffs he inflicts, and then Reno has you covered through Pyramid. I actually think it could be quite a fun team. I actually think that Vincent is quite easy to slot into a lot of teams as well, because while he has debuffs and stuff like that, only like they're not framed debuffs or anything, and he doesn't absolutely have to have them as long as they have some debuffs that is going to trigger his LD attack, and he's going to benefit from them being there anyway. So I think he's actually quite easy to slot into a team, especially given that his LD gives him a special effect and no further buffs or anything like that on top of what he already had. And that sap, double sap, is actually quite a big thing because it does keep you safe during various different fights. And I'm sure, given that what we've seen from the video, that the Crust Beetles, which are a dreaded enemy from many places, DE7, I'm looking at you, I think it'll actually help quite a lot with that, especially if you pair him up with a character like Ramza or Firion, characters that can, like, protect you while, like, keeping your bravery safe. I think he'll work really well for that. But... Honestly, I think that the same thing can be said here, it can be said for Balthia. If you didn't care about the like global exclusive before because your pulling plans didn't cater for them, then you don't I don't think you're gonna need to pull for Vincent. I think he's quite exciting though. So given the very short space of time, like literally the video was released 15 minutes ago, I started filming this video literally the second it dropped. Um, an initial impression, should you pull for Vincent? That's a very difficult question <laughs> with such a short time to answer. But I can pretty safely say the same thing goes for Vincent as goes for Balthia. If you care about the fact that he didn't get a rework, that he didn't get LD boards, that he doesn't have an LD call, then you're probably not going to want him. And within, like, the grand scheme of things, JP never had this and, you know, don't never had to worry about having it and got through all the content fine. So I do think on that regard, Vincent is purely a luxury item. But one hell of a luxury item, if you ask me. Now, I think that the combination and the, the, the ease in which you can just plop him into a team, I think he's easier to put into a team than Balthia was because he's, like, less focused on a certain aspect of the game. He just does a good amount of damage and does debuffs along for the ride. Obviously, if the enemy, like, buffs themselves, cleanses debuffs, things like that a lot, then Vincent's going to be less potent. But I don't think there are going to be that many, like, fights that you outright can't take Vincent to. Except for ones, of course, that resist or absorb either fire or lightning because the fact that his skills have two different elements on them means that he can have a, he can struggle with a slightly wider variety of missions than characters with just one element can. But I think that those debuffs in combination with a six hit brave HP follow up, it's a lot. It's a big hitting attack. And like if you're hitting 9999 and you pair him up with even Balthea, or any character that has HP damage up, you are going to get a good amount of damage out of Vincent. And like I said, this is all first impressions, but I think I'm certainly going to be using at least tickets on this banner because I think he just looks very, very exciting to have. But going back to like the negative side of things again, I think that I think the main thing to take away here is that you don't have to have him. Like I said, JP didn't have him and they didn't have to worry about not having him. So he is more of a luxury item than some characters are. But then he's like, whenever, when has a global first character ever been bad? Like I know people read me to filth about Balthea, but because I haven't used him in every event, but that's because I try to showcase other characters. You know, if I wanted to, I could have put Balthea into practically all of those missions. And you know, in, 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 uh, as long as I'd carried a, a thug, like an Imperial Enchanter with me. And then I think Vincent actually has very similar qualities as well, but not having a rework, not having an LD call, not having an LD board, that will put off a lot of players. But in all honesty, what is a rework, an LD board, and an LD, or an LD board if it's, all, if it's all kind of text that's been moved from there into the LD itself? That follow-up attack is strong. It's very strong. It's a shame it's not splash damage, but it's strong, and I think that it would be remiss to, to not at least acknowledge that. So, like I said earlier, this is a short, quick and nasty video so that I can get it up as quickly as I can because there's literally not a lot of time before the event is actually released 
So do come and find me on Twitch if you want to see how, like, after a few hours, whether I feel differently about it. If I do end up going and pulling for it myself, whether I can showcase how good he's going to be. I would assume that the banner would have um, Eltamisia's burst on it, and it will probably have a free pull on it as well. We don't have, like, I, I could have made a video when we had the teaser, but I wanted to wait until we had more concrete information before I made anything. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like Vincent's LD? Does the fact that he doesn't have a rework and LD call put you off in the same way that it did Balthea? I'm curious as to what all of you guys think. I haven't obviously been able to put up a would you pull poll because we found out about this less than half an hour ago. But hopefully you guys can take some of the information here I like see it as like a news report of sorts as it, it's it looks really cool like if nothing else I think that he has a really cool set. I just wish he had a bit more Versatility I wish he had like free skill uses. I wish he had uh, like a better HP plus even though his follow-up is that good that it kind of makes it better anyway Anyways, I could go on for ages about it, but based on first impressions I think that Vincent looks really good but he doesn't look like he's going to like break the game in half or anything. Very similarly to Balthia. So that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching the ch uh, for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications for any future videos I might be making. And I shall hopefully see you guys on the other side. Hopefully with a Vincent LD and maybe that costume too, because that's a hell of a cool costume. So thank you very much for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.